What's up, YouTube? Dell here from Zephyr War Games, and today we have the first art type reveal from the amazing Defenders deck building set. So, for those of you who don't know, deck building sets comprise of three brand new art types, and here in the TCG, the way the packs are as follows: is it is all comprised of super rares, ultra rares, common uh, rares, and collector rares as well. So, the first one they have revealed to us is called Rescue Aces, and my lord, these are actually insanely good, and I'm really excited to go through them with you. Before we do that, please smash that like button, hit that notification bell, and subscribe, so you don't miss out on any more upcoming content. So let's start off with the first one, and the first one we have is Rescue Ace Impulse. It is a level 3 Fire Warrior effect monster, 1500 attack and 1500 defense. Of course, it's a rotor target. Uh, you can only use the first and second effect once per turn. During your main phase, you can make the one effect monster your opponent controls with the highest attack, your choice if tied, unable to activate its effects on the field. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, quick effect, you can tribute this card from the hand or field to special on one machine rescue ace monster from your deck. That is nutty um, because you trigger the effect. So you just go, alright, during the main phase, trigger the effect. It doesn't seem to target. So at that moment, if your opponent's got a Baron de Fleur on the board, they'll have to go, well, I need to negate this now, otherwise you're going to negate the Baron. And you go, yeah, sure. So they activate the Baron and you go, okay, cool. Chain effect, quick effect, to tribute this card from the handle field as cost and special summon a machine rescue ace monster from the deck. On top of that, if they try to imperm, you can chain it and dodge it. Really, really cool card. Love this one. Uh, can't wait to see this in action. The second monster we have is Rescue Ace Air Hoister. It is a level 4 Fire Warrior, which means it is a target for Reinforcement of the Army. Great. So it means we can technically play 7 copies, or 4 copies of each. This one, uh, and then 4 copies of the Impulse. Only use the first and second effect once per turn, and if it is normal or specialed, colon, you can add one Rescue Ace spell from your deck to the hand. So that's how you can get to the field spell. Nice. When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, quick effect, you can tribute this card from the hand or field to special on one Rescue Ace monster from your hand, except itself. Now, key in mind, this one lets you summon any Rescue Ace from the hand, whereas the other one will only let you special summon a Machine Rescue Ace from the deck. Keep in mind, the Machine Rescue Aces are the boss monsters, uh, apart from Hydrant, which we'll get to in a minute, because it is the most important card of the deck. So why is Rescue Ace Hydrant the most important card of the deck being a level 1 fire machine effect monsters with 0 attack and 0 defense? Well, I'm going to tell you. All of its spells and traps, or most of the spells and traps, will gain additional effects if you control Hydrant. Very, very nice. Only use second and third effect once per turn. Um, your opponent cannot target this card for attacks or with card effects while you control a Rescue Ace monster other than itself. The best thing about this, because it is a level 1, it is very easy one for one target fodder. And of course, it means you can play 4 copies in sense. Uh, you can activate one quick play spell or trap this turn. It is set by your Rescue Ace card's effect, which is important for their big boss monster. Um, the turn is set, really important. During your main phase, you can add one Rescue Ace monster from your deck to the hand, except itself. So again, it can get you into your big boss monsters that can just special summon themselves for free, or it can get you into your lower level monsters that you want for your additional normals, which you do get, by the way. Moving on to the first boss monster or mini boss monster. Kind of reminds me of Cosmos with all this tagging out stuff. Uh, Rescue Ace Fire Attacker, level 6 Fire Machine Effect Monster, 2200 attack, 2200 defense, and you can only use the first and second effect once per turn. If a Rescue Ace Monster or Monsters other than itself is normal or special to the field, you get to special on this card from the hand for free. Uh, if a card or cards is added to your opponent's hand except by drawing them, you get to draw two cards and then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. And then we have Rescue Ace Fire Engine, level 7 Fire Machine Effect, 2500 attack, 2500 defense. They're just getting stronger. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name once per turn. If a Rescue Ace monster or monsters other than itself is normal or special to your field, you get a special on this card from the hand for free. If a monster or monsters is special on your opponent's field, you get to special on one level 4 or lower Rescue Ace monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So you get to recycle your Hydrant. It can also help you trigger your, um, the first one, what was it called? Uh, not Hoister, Impulse. And it can also get you Hoister as well. Really, really cool card. And then their final boss monster is called Rescue Ace Turbulence. Level 9 Fire Machine Effect Monster, 3k attack, 3k defense. It's a bigger boy. Uh, you can only use the first, second, and third effect once per turn. You can banish two Rescue Ace cards from your graveyard to special summon this card from the hand. 
During the main phase, you can set up to four Rescue Ace quick play spells and or normal traps with different names from your deck. At the moment, we only have exactly four, so hopefully there'll be more on the horizon for this deck. If another card or card you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, you get to target one card on the field and destroy it. Noise. Moving into the field spell. So, one rescue ace monster, uh, sorry, rescue ace monster you control gain 500 attack and defense while your opponent controls a monster. During the main phase, you can normal summon one rescue ace monster in addition to your normal summoner set. You only get to gain this effect once per turn, so that's very nice. And then once per turn, you can target four of your rescue ace cards that are banished and or in your graveyard, shuffle them into the deck, and draw one card. So I can set four directly from the deck, I can banish two from the graveyard to summon out my boss monster, and I can recycle all of them again to draw a card. Oh my days. I love this already. Uh, and then of course we have Rescue. Uh, it is always treated as a Rescue Ace card, and you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Target one Rescue Ace monster in your graveyard, or if you control Hydrant, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard instead, and special summon it to your field. So it is a quick play monster reborn. Noise. Alert, again, always treated as a Rescue Ace card. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Add one Rescue Ace monster from your graveyard to the hand, or if you control Hydrant, you can add one Rescue Ace monster from your deck to the hand instead. Nice. Contain, always treated as a Rescue Ace card. If you control Rescue Ace monster, target one effect monster your opponent controls, it cannot attack, its effects are negated. Also, if you control Rescue Ace Hydrant, it cannot be used as material for a Fusion, Synchro, Exorcy, or Link. And these effects last until the end of this turn. What? So it's like an Imperm on legs. It gets to pretty much stop them going into any materials. And it can't attack. So that's one thing you're going to have to remember. And then finally, we have Extinguish. Again, always treated as a Rescue Ace card. If you control a Rescue Ace monster, target one effect monster your opponent controls and destroy it. And if you control Hydrant, this turn your opponent cannot activate the effects of the destroyed monster as well as monsters with the same original name. Hmm, does this seem like an out or a complete counter to Mirror Jade? I think so. Really, really cool card. Um, so we know 11 cards from this art type so far. I'm pretty sure they usually get like 13 to 15 in a set. So I can't wait to see what else they've got. I think the monsters, they've pretty much covered what they need. Um... I don't see, maybe a link monster could be good for the deck, but it doesn't even really need it. I think what it wants is more spells and more quick play spells and more trap cards. But I mean, again, it's got everything it needs. It's got a spot removal, it's got spot negation, it's got a searcher, and it's got a reviver. Like, it's covered all the basic angles. I really, really like this, and this is the first of three to be revealed. So it's due out in the OCG in August, so we should get the other two art types before that. Um, that being said, I can't wait to see what else this art type gets in the future, not to mention in this set in general, and I can't wait to see what else this set has. Like, the, the other two art types, um, also have great potentials. Now that, like, I thought this was going to be the dummy set, or, like, the dummy art type, I really, really like it. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this art type in the comments down below. I think it's really cool. Even if the other two are trash to me, like, I would buy this set just to get this art type. This art type seems a lot of fun to play. Um, so I can't wait. Like, other cards like Pot of Extra, because it doesn't require the extra deck. Um, it can play stuff like Imperms, Veilers, you know, your standard hand traps. But I think, like, these monsters itself are already well written. They've got some great quick effects. They've got some great effects in general. I think the only downside is that it relies on Hydrant to give additional effects. But the fact that it relies on Hydrant to get additional effects and not just the effects in general, I think it's a really good plus point as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. Till next time, guys, as absolutely always, stay safe. And of course, happy dueling.